So we are going to talk about B2, which is riboflavin, or like I like to say, flavor flav. Um, flavor flav, flavor twice, kind of helps me remember B2. Um, anyway, so riboflavin, I also like to think about flavor or taste, which makes me think about the tongue and the mouth. So when you have a deficiency in riboflavin, a lot of times um, it has, you'll see signs and symptoms, something to do with the mouth. So in particular, we have stomatitis and colitis. Isis makes me think of like a lot of things. Inflammation and stomatitis. Um, so you may have red, cracked, you may have little like cracks on the side of your mouth. Your tongue may be a magenta color. You may have a sore throat, um, cracked lips. If you are deficient in riboflavin, B2, you're likely going to be deficient in B3 as well. They are both hydrogen um, carriers. And you also may have growth failure if you don't have enough riboflavin. So what does riboflavin do? Well, like I said, it's a hydrogen carrier to the electron transport chain. So it's a coenzyme. And um, it's used for red blood cell production energy released from protein, and intracellular metabolism. So how I also kind of think of metabolism and Krebs cycle, citric acid cycle, electron transfer chain, all of that, um, a lot of times you'll see in there FAD and FADH. Um, riboflavin is a precursor to FAD. So just kind of a tip there, the FAD, flavin, um, I forget what it stands for, but FAD, flavin is the riboflavin is the precursor for FAD. Anyway, um, you must get it from your diet, which is going to be animal proteins, liver, kidney, milk, meat, um, also found in almonds, dark leafy greens, and cereals. And something unique about riboflavin is that it's actually, um, it's fairly heat stable, but it um, will be lost in UV light. So, um, something to kind of remember. And this is why milk is in opaque containers so that, um, you know, some of the vitamins aren't lost because of the light. So riboflavin is light sensitive. 